Uh, in the meantime, if you're if you're worried about, I always love this, drinking for your health. And these studies go back and forth, back and forth. What's healthier, alcohol or wine? And, and what doses? And what is moderation exactly? Well, the folks at Glasgow University, they come out with a lot of these. I don't know how much they drink over there at Glasgow University. Uh, but they say... <laughs> they, do, they do a lot there They do Scotland. a lot with the alcohol uh, studies. Uh, they're saying now that wine instead of beer or other alcoholic beverages is healthier and could actually cut the risk of death. And I know we've talked about the health benefits of wine in the past. But it does come back to moderation. If you're drinking four bottles a day, that's different than a glass a day or a glass and a half. Glasgow University, who approved this study? We already knew this. We this did. has been a thing for a while because of some of the elements and components of wine that beer just doesn't have. Um, and thus, I will always have my wine. And tequila, <laughs> tequila's on my list of healthy drinks as well, for the record. But they're in Scotland, so what do they say about scotch? I mean, they can't undermine their own scotch industry. Well... I, mean, I know, that's why I'm wondering about there. the approval of this study. They, this, this is a specific percentage. They said that drinking with food had a 10% lower risk of death compared to drinking without food. So they're saying don't drink on an empty stomach, and if and when you do drink, have some wine rather than beer. It actually uh, was a 48% higher risk of liver cirrhosis with wine. I also wonder if, they're, if when people are drinking beer, they tend to drink more. Than like a glass or two of wine. Probably, and I, I mean, you know I don't I mean? want to diminish their study because they're a renowned university. But th the infiltration of wine in our culture in the last ten years has been crazy. There was a time when you couldn't turn on a show on any network that they weren't. I mean, look at uh, Olivia Pope. I went and got those wine glasses. Me too. My mom she got them for me for Christmas. sat there with that wine glass, drinking in the middle <laughs> of a high-level meeting. Yes. Somehow remain sober. I love sober. those glasses so much. They sold out of them at Crate and Barrel when Scandal was on TV. So the wine yes. industry, the wine industry I love that has, we both have those. Right? They've done a lot. They've done a lot to try and make wine part of our everyday lives. And people who 20 years ago weren't interested in wine are drinking it.